My university experience was great. I met loads of people, we had fun, we socialized, we went out. But we also studied really hard and learned a lot of new stuff. The friends I made at university are some of the closest friends that I have to this day. To this day! I've kept contact with so many people and we are still very, very close. At university, I chose to study computing and I'm very glad that I made the choice to study something tech related. And now despite all this great stuff that I say about university and the decisions that I made, there are so many things about university which I wish I did differently. And let's talk about some of them in this video. You want things, I don't mind. What that is? Say it. Bread. Bread? Bread. Just straight bread. Me have to go plans for the year, boy. Me have to know what you're talking about, you know what I'm talking about, me. If you rust them and we out here, we know we do this, you know, we might What are you talking about, Rose? <laughs> In this video, I want to talk about some of the things I would do differently if I was to go back to university and do it again. And these things could help people in the same position. Mainly the things I'm mentioning in this video are things that would help me to get the most out of university in terms of things that will help me in the future. I'm thinking a lot of things that would help me in my professional career or what I wanted to do once I left university and became an adult professional. Now, the first thing I want to mention is doing a certification or course outside of my university degree and education. And I would have wanted to do this in the first year of study. And why do I say first year of study? I mainly say this because of internship and placement opportunities. After your first year, you start to look at getting internships and placements and working in industry to get some experience while you're still at university. And typically people in their first year are mostly on a clean slate. Most of the people in the first year have pretty much the same thing on their CV, one year of university, and that's it. So for me, what I would have done differently is I would have gone into some sort of basic and fundamental certification that would help me to stand out when I was looking for internships. Maybe it would be an Azure fundamental certification, or maybe it was a course online on programming, and I would be able to put this on my CV when I'm applying for internships and show people that I really have an interest and stand out for the rest of the people in their first years of university who don't have any other qualifications outside of being at university. I think that would have been the first step in order to me getting some real world experience ahead of others. I feel like this step could really help people in university right now who aren't really thinking about how they're gonna stand out amongst the crowd. We're gonna look back at this video here in like three years time and be like, yo, it's crazy bro. Blood now the out. second thing I would have really focused on in university is starting to build up my network. Luckily, I had the opportunity and I did take the opportunity to build up a network of peers and great people around me who I'm still really close to today, whether that's friendships or professional relationships. There's loads of people that I met at university that I still have contact with today and I still speak to regularly and who have helped me in my career in different ways. Okay. I only realized how helpful it was to have so many peers that I knew well after I had graduated from university. If I had known and understood the opportunity to network whilst I was still at university, I would have gone all out. I would have made so many friends, built so many connections, kept up with people, kept learning from people. I have no idea how that could have helped me in the future or what sort of opportunities that could bring about for me or how many other people I could help along the way. And so if you're in university at the moment, remember how valuable the network of peers that you're with now could be. The future is probably very bright for a lot of the people around you and having these people as peers, friends, good relationships could really help you and help them also in the future. The third thing I would have done differently is getting my CV reviewed. For some weird reason, I thought I had the ability to write an amazing CV all on my own. And I did this in my first and second years when I was applying for placements and internships. Now, most universities have loads of facilities where they really help students with their employability. I know my university had this kind of like an employability office where they help you with CV reviews, they point you in the right direction in terms of where to search for jobs, they also help you with like mock interviews and different things like that. I think for me, 
if I was to go back, I would have gotten more involved in those sort of things, which would have really helped me to understand the job market, to have a great CV lined up for applying for internships, and to just be more ready than I was when it came to applying for jobs. And the final thing I wanna mention is to really seek and go after mentorship with various professionals. Now, this is a big one. And I know for a lot of people, they go after mentoring and they may find it difficult to get mentoring from different people around them. I think for me, I did have the opportunity and I was lucky enough to have mentoring relationships with one person who was a lead cloud engineer. However, there are loads more people who I could have gotten a lot more advice from. And this is not necessarily on the step of can you be my mentor? Can you be that one person that guides me and, and we meet up for coffee and that sort of thing? But more just different people who I asked more questions of and got more advice from on, on how my career could be in the future, on different areas that I would want to get into, on how I should be preparing for the real world as a student. And I think this would have put me on a different path or maybe I wouldn't even be where I am today. I'm thankful for being where I am. I thank God that, you know, I chose to go into cloud engineering and I had mentoring from a cloud engineer, did my research and I had an understanding of what I wanted to get into. Um, but also speaking to other people really did help that. And my kind of regret is not doing that as much as I should have. And so for students who are still doing their degree and are on this path, I hope you can take these pieces of advice and implement this into what you're doing getting a certification, getting your CV reviewed, building your network and finding a mentor. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Follow me on LinkedIn and Instagram. Links are in the description and I'll see you guys in the next video. Yeah, bro. I'm dripping. You know what I mean? Wet money. <laughs> <laughs>